and they want to know the surface area. We can start with the easy side, and that is the base or bottom of the pyramid, and that's just going to be our width of 18 times our base of 10, and we're going to get 180 for that. Getting into the harder part now, the area of our triangular faces. So we'll start with this front one here, which has a width of 18 and an unknown slant height. Remember, we don't want to get our pyramid height confused with our slant height, and we'll try to draw a triangle to kind of represent that. So if I draw uh, a line from our width to the base of our pyramid here, we know that the length of this line is going to be 5 because it's halfway, and the full length is going to be 10. And I'll try to draw this triangle off to the side here. So imagine you're looking at this pyramid from the side. We would see our pyramid height of 12. We would see this length at the base, which is 5. And what we're trying to calculate is that slant height of this face. And if you remember some of your special triangles are 5, 12, 13, or you can just use Pythagorean's theorem. So if I try to draw this slant height now, we know that this is going to be 13. So to calculate our area, all we have to do is the base of this face here, which is 18, times the slant height or height of this triangle. And I'll draw the triangle off to the side as well. So again, our base is 18. Our height is going to be 13. So I just do 18 times 13 divided by 2, and that would be the area of one face. But we know that there's also the back of this pyramid too, which is the same 18 in slant height. So since there's two of them, I could just multiply this by 2, and we would get 234 for the total area of the front and back triangular faces. Now we'll do the same thing for the left and right faces, and we'll start with that line from the center of our pyramid to our base, and we want to calculate this slant height. So you can see that since this is half of 18, this base is going to be 9, the height of this triangle is going to be 12, and the slant height, again, this is going to be one of our special triangles. Remember your 3, 4, and 5 triangle? This is just a multiple of that. They multiplied this by 3 to get 9, multiplied this by 3 to get 12, and then multiplied this by 3 to get 15. So we now know for our secondary face here, it's going to be a base of 10 times the height of 15, and then divide by 2 to get our area. But since there's one on the right and one on the left, we can multiply that by 2, and that just gets us 150 for the total area of the left and right faces. Now I just add all three of these up, the 234, the 180, and the 150, and I should get a total area or surface area that is 564.